right, man, listen. I had to pick up another one of these super thin point two. Man, point two millimeter lead pencils. And as the title says, plain and simple, I'm gonna try to complete my drawings without the lead snapping one. So I read the directions. I think you push down gently here so the lead's not coming out too much. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to draw real quick. I'm just gonna try to do a little scribble, see how it feels. I haven't broken yet, but this is the Pintout Orange pencil. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right. I used this brand before. I'll, I'll talk about it later in the vid, but here's just like a little comparison to 0.5 millimeters. See a better look here. Anyway, I'm gonna open up my sketchbook and start the drawing. No time to waste. I'm gonna use my 500 drawing prompts book just to get something random to draw. I can't really think of anything. So just to get something random, Got, we got skateboard. We got skateboard. So as the rules say, I'm gonna draw if the lead snaps once, I gotta stop. Listen, dude, off to a good start. It's off to a good start, but don't let the time lapse fool you. I, I wasn't going crazy like this. You know, I was taking my time handling the pencil with care, but it honestly felt really sturdy. Really, really sturdy. Like I said though, I followed the directions when it came to this pencil. I didn't have the lead sticking out a lot, so I don't I don't feel like it's gonna break. I think I'll be able to get through this whole sketch. If it feels really sturdy. The scariest parts honestly were when I went to set it down and use my eraser. Cause I, I was setting it down a little bit hard sometimes. A little bit hard. I, I should have been more careful with that. But the last time I used an orange pencil, it was point two as well. And it had like anti, it had like an anti lead breaking feature that I didn't even know about because I didn't look at the directions. But this is how the skateboard came out. This is how the skateboard came out. So we got through this. We made it. We made it through the first sketch. So now I gotta pick up another one. I gotta pick up another drawing. I'm gonna grab something random real quick. Just to start off, we got handcuffs. We got handcuffs for this one, but I'm gonna make this one a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna push the lead out a little bit further. You know, I'm gonna break the rules. I'm pushing the lead out a little bit further just to see, you know, just to see how this works. You know the rules. If the lead snaps once, I gotta completely stop. lead poking out more it still felt sturdy it still felt felt like more sturdy than my 0.5 millimeter 0.7 millimeter pencil to be honest with you i, th I thought i would it just snapped here it snapped here man <laughs> it, it snapped here i thought it was good but it snapped here I'm, i'll show slow motion instant replay right there you can see that little snap but yeah right i had to stop the drawing you know that's the rule was it snapped once i had to stop but you know, I didn't want to draw handcuffs anyway. But anyway, I'm going to grab out my bigger sketchbook. It's getting serious now, man. The games are over. You know, the, the little games are over. We, we got to get serious. I'm going to try to draw out one of my characters using this pencil. The lead can't snap once. If it snaps once, I'm done. But this is what I'm working with. This is how much I'm going to have the lead poking out. Just for comparison, I'm going to show with my the biggest lead pencil I have, which is the Fat Boy. It's 5.5 millimeters, I think. Yeah, just to just so see that little comparison, but we gotta get to it. We gotta get to it. I got a lot of confidence though, cause um, as you saw earlier, I made it through that skateboard sketch, the full sketch. So I got, you know, I got confidence that I can get through drawing this full character. It's honestly, it felt like I was using a multi-liner. It really felt like I was just using one of my outliners because I shown you earlier, the, I didn't have the lead sticking out barely at all. <laughs> you know, man, you know, cause I, I came in, I wasn't gonna add too many details to the character. You know, I was just gonna draw like the basic, even drawing with a bald head, just a basic t-shirt and everything. But you know, I, I felt confident. I felt like I could draw more. Initially, I really thought about using, like I said, the big lead pencil I had that's 5.5 millimeters. I was gonna draw with that until the lead snapped. I was gonna do that, but it would, I, it wouldn't snap at all. It would, it would take like, I'd be drawing for like a full week until the lead ran out. I 
I'm gonna try to zoom in and get y'all some close-ups real quick here. Just so you can see how like small the lead is. guy out i gotta add in some last little details here as long as it doesn't snap you can see man we got the character right here we got him right here using the point two lead pencil i got it right here this is the mvp right here man this is the mvp i'm gonna have to use this pencil again but anyway i got some more videos if you guys want to check it out thank you for watching this one i'm gonna be dropping more this week so please subscribe if you haven't already and i'm out